Jennings. David. Harris. I am. From Miami. My movie is. Cause the last laugh is on you. Douglas Kent was born to mother Janet Kent, an absent and detached veterinarian, and father Christopher Adams Kent, a silly and loving, but altogether very stupid secretary. Just have fun, Johnny. I'm Kelly Katzmeyer, and I'm from Durham, North Carolina. You're about to see a few scenes from my short film, To Be Remembered. All the black and white. Every time I guess, two days before my 11th birthday. Cassie, come play with us! I can only remember bits and pieces. But I remember there was a little boy. His eyes were much darker than they should have been. I didn't realize it until that moment. But I think you've been watching me. What are you looking at? Nothing. That was when the stinging began. The itching in the back of my eyes. Hi, my name is James Duarte, I'm from the Bronx, and my film is entitled Cause and Effect. Hope you enjoy. I'm Shimoko Baba, and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and my piece is entitled Greenwood Battleground. In a matter of hours, ignorance, fear, and hate dimmed the bright lights of hope that had shone for years. Daylight turned to dusk, dusk to darkness. Under cover of that darkness, all manner of unspeakable, unimaginable atrocities came to pass. Some 10,000 whites um, just moved en masse ac across the railroad tracks and began to burn and loot and uh, destroy all the buildings of this wealthy black community. People were, were killed. People were fleeing their homes with their hands up and they were shot. My family and me, we had to get up and, and get out of the way of the mob that was burning down Tulsa, black Tulsa. We had to leave our homes and leave we didn't have time to stop and get nothing. We had to get what we had on our back. The governor in Oklahoma City sent in the National Guard. And I don't know, I don't know what would have ever stopped the rioters, but by then the destruction was complete. My grandmother and grandfather, I don't have no remembrance of them, no pictures of them or anything. Because all of that was destroyed during the race riot. I think the white perspective regarding the riot 
quite largely was closed minds. They didn't want to hear about it. It's over. You know, what's over is over is things people say all the time when they don't want to face up to a situation. They'll say, oh, that's past history. They said that about the Holocaust. They say it about the riot. Uh, you know, that's past history. Just forget it. You can't forget it because if you forget it, you'll do it again. My name is Saleh Mabube. I'm from Camden, Maine, and my piece is entitled Still Life. Hi, I'm Grace Sampson. I'm from Burbank, California. I'm a filmmaker, and this is my film, Sounds of Silence. general public to get in there now. Inside shots by Orlando Bloom and Tom Cruz are hosting the party. We've been trying to track you down on these two photos. We're going with uh, this Frank, picture I really here. Need this this to that. You told me to move this here. This is the third time today. Like one is one one second. Can you give me a second? I know. Yes. I know. For this? No. I want to check it. I'm going to call it. I'm going to have to defend inside of my door. My name is Michael Butler from San Anselmo, California, and this is my movie, Kite. Unless, maybe, you're standing in front of a full-length mirror in a borrowed pair of bunny slippers, slipping off a bathrobe and then wishing to a light bulb that my name, or my game, or whatever, were bigger, wondering what kind of woman wants this skinny kid for her warrior. And so I made for you a kite, enormous, out of coat hangers, brown paper bags, and the masking tape from that drawer in your kitchen. And I hung it in the hallway where you couldn't hardly miss it, and I tagged that kite with my words. I wrote, Just so you know, my weird mind wanders and my brave heart breaks. I've nailed some milestones, but I've made mistakes, because I've got more faults than a map of California earthquakes. I'm taking a nap beneath your covers, Wake me if you like me. Wake me if you want me. Wake me if you need another poem. Your once and future lover has made himself at home.